and a warm welcome to Points West this Thursday evening. In our programme tonight, 80 years after a flight carrying a Hollywood heartthrob was shot down en route to Bristol, a memorial is held to remember those who perished. Now, 80 years ago today, a flight took off from Lisbon, bound for the former Whitchurch Airport south of Bristol. But Flight 777 was shot down by German fighters. On board was a Hollywood heartthrob and a Jewish business owner who saved thousands of lives. Today, a special ceremony took place to remember them, and Jonathan Holmes was there. I am followed by unidentified aircraft. I am attacked by enemy aircraft. The last message from Flight 777 before it was shot down. Among the 17 dead were the actor Leslie Howard and the businessman Wilfred Israel. During the war, this airfield served a vital purpose. There were four flights a week uh, from here, to and from Lisbon, and they called it the Spy Run. They were not of the James Bond sort of ilk with a wolf of PPK in their, in their pocket. It was uh, more so of passing information uh, in their jobs, uh, they would um, possibly see things like a certain aircraft flew into a certain airfield and they would pass the information back. 10,000, 20,000, Goering will see to that. Howard, who starred in Gone with the Wind, had turned his talents to making propaganda films for the Allies. There's an enormous excitement attached to making films in England in wartime. Apart from the thrills and difficulties of the Blitz period, when a portion of this studio was burnt out, one has a profound feeling that British filmmakers have more to say now than at any other time in the history of British films. Israel saved thousands of lives when he helped to set up the kinder transport, bringing Jewish children to safety in the UK. He actually got a lot of his workers, his Jewish workers, uh, out of trouble with the Nazis, and he was arrested several times for that, for intervening, and eventually he himself did get out and got his 200 employees out. And it's an inspiration in terms of seeing that, how one person can make a difference to so many other lives. Exactly 80 years ago today, Flight 777 would have landed on this very airfield at Whitchurch Airport. Now there's lots of conflicting theories about why the plane was shot down, but we won't know for another 20 years until the official files are released a century after the disaster. Today, a minute's silence took place to remember the victims. If people don't remember any events uh, of, of, like this, then uh, th there's no commemorations and, and we forget. And it's wrong to forget. I think we should always remember what people have done for, for the country and for the world uh, as a whole. The radio enthusiasts here are determined that Flight 777 is never forgotten. Jonathan Holmes, BBC Points West in Bristol.